Right, let's do an exam question walkthrough. Resistance of a length of cable. We've done one question on resistance of a length of cable. This one's a little bit more complex. Let's do this one. This is a quite likely when you're getting an exam. Okay, so let's read through the questions together. What is the cross-sectional area of a copper cable which has a length of 100 meters? So we've got the length. A resistance of 0 0.688 ohms. We've got the resistance. It's telling us the resistivity of copper is 0 0.0172 micro ohms per meter okay so we need to be thinking about things straight away with this we've got the length of the cable we've got the resistance we've been asked for the cross-sectional area and we know this is the resistivity of copper okay so straight away i'm looking at this and seeing that it's micro ohms so i'm just going to quickly note this and put right i know micro is minus six right okay let's just leave that over there so we can remember that later on okay so the formula that we're going to use for this question we know the reformula for working out the resistance when we've got the resistivity, the length, and we've got the cross-sectional area. So let's write this out and we'll transpose it. So resistance is equal to the resistivity multiplied by the length divided by the cross-sectional area. Okay, so let's transpose this formula so A is the subject because we know that A is for the CSA of the cable, which is this what we've been asked for, don't we? This is the resistance, this is the res resistivity, and this is the length. So let's make A the subject. So let's do it for quickly. The opposite of divide is multiply by A. Let's move this over here for a start. So we've got to multiply this side by A as well. Okay, so we end up with RA equals rho L. Okay, because we've removed the A, haven't we, by doing the opposite of divide by A. And we've multiplied by A here, so this is what we've ended up with. Okay, now, so what we'll do is we'll do the opposite of multiply by R, which is currently happening here, isn't it? R times A is the same as A times R, so we can do divide by r to get rid of this r. I have to do divide by r on this side as well. On the opposite side, I have to do the same, don't we? And then what do we end up with? We end up with um, a on its own over here, which is what we want. And then we've got the resistivity multiplied by the length over the resistance. Okay, so we've transposed it. We've got a as a subject. Perfect. Anyone that wants to do this quicker, look at the relationship here between the r and the a. All they've done is switch. Look at that. So all we've done is switch over. So a quick way of doing it, if you get used to it, would be just swapping those two over. Okay, let's just put a big line down here. Move on to the next bit. Right, now we've got to deal with this number here, haven't we? 0 0.0172 micro ohms per meter. Okay, sound. Right, so let's write this out first. 0 0.0172 micro ohms per meter. Okay, fine. So we know that number there is in standard form is going to be 0 0.0172 times 10 to the minus 6. Now you're thinking, how did I get that? How have I just suddenly got that out of this? Well, we, went, we did this earlier on, didn't we? We pointed out that minus 6 is micro. So we know that if we write this in standard form, we write 0 0.0172 times 10 to the minus 6. That's this number in standard form. We can use this now in our calculation. We can't use this number in our calculator. We can't type in micro into our calculator. Okay, so let's move on. Well, before we move on, let's prove to you this number is probably how you're used to seeing the resistivity, 1.72 times 10 to the minus 8. These two numbers that we're looking at here are exactly the same as each other. This number here is the same as this number. If you want me to prove it, look at this. So 1.72 times 10 to the minus 8 and 0 0.0172 times 10 to the minus 6. Well, if this decimal point was to jump one, two places here, it would push this to a minus eight, wouldn't it? And it'd be 1.72 times 10 to the minus eight, which is this number. Exactly the same, makes no difference. So, okay, let's put some values into this then, into this formula. We got our formula down here earlier on, didn't we? So let's now put this up here. So the cross-sectional area is equal to the resistivity multiplied by the length divided by the resistance. Right, let's put some values in. So the cross-sectional area is going to be equal to 0 0.0172 times 10 to the minus 6 multiplied by the length, which in our case here is 100 meters. So let's multiply it by 100. And then we're going to divide all this by the resistance reading that we've got to deal with, which is 0 0.688 ohms. Okay, so when we put this into our calculators, we're going to come out with this answer. 2.5 times 10 to the minus 6. That's what it's going to say on your calculator like that. And then in your options for your for the answer for the question, 
you're going to have um, this written down. 2.5 millimeters squared will be one of the options. And you're going to choose that option because we've said this before, anything millimeters squared is going to be equal to times 10 to the minus 6. We've said this over and over again. So when you see this written on your calculator, 2.5 times 10 to the minus 6, it's saying that the CSA of that cable is 2.5 millimeters squared.